We're talking with Dan Rather, and I was wondering what you've learned so far in your reporting on uh, electric battery cars and the special you're working on. Well, the first thing I learned in doing this report for H.D. Net and Dan Rather reports is how much I didn't know about electric cars. Uh, number one, uh, there's an increasing belief that the moment is now for electric cars that we're going to have a big jump forward in the number of companies producing these cars probably in sales, if not in the short run, in the medium run, that it is the next wave of automobiles in this country. The only question is how quickly uh, it will come. I tend to think it will come a little faster than some do, but that's one thing I've learned. The moment is now for electric cars. Uh, number two, obviously, the battery life or the way to give the car a little more mileage is the key. Right now, Telstra and some others are saying maybe 244 miles before you have to get a charge, you're skeptical about that, but nonetheless, the longer they can make the mileage before you need a recharge is uh, one key. Uh, other things I've learned is that we may have a whole new generation of automobile manufacturers. One could see the future, and yes, perhaps Ford or somebody else is involved, but there are a lot, of, a lot more electric car manufacturers than I knew existed. The other thing that uh, I've learned about it is that the public is much more interested, uh, much more in accepting mood about electric cars than they have been by far in any other time in my lifetime. I would just ask you one quick thing. What, what, what do you actually drive yourself? Um, I'm pausing only because I don't want to endorse anything, um, but I drive a, a Jeep Cherokee. Okay. I need, need four-wheel drive. My wife is on me constantly. She says, buy an electric car buy a hybrid car, buy something, but you shouldn't be driving an automobile that takes gets this kind of gas mileage. And she's right, so come back and see me soon. I'll tell you something. <laughs> what do you think you'd buy if you were buying a car right now? Ooh, I have no idea. If, if Telstra comes up with a car that, this Telstra electric car, that can seat more than two people, I drove a you know, pretty strictly hot uh, sports car model, but they're coming up with a new one. If you come up with a car that seats six or seven people, I'd be interested. Great. Thank you, Dan Rather. You're welcome. Thank you.